Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Seven Kingdoms uh, battle for you guys. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones you'll love this one. There's four new factions that have been added to this mod. Um, we have House Dondarrion here as you may be able to recognise from their emblem on their shields. I didn't really know what their emblem looked like. I knew it was like a lightning bolt and stars but it, this is quite nice. I do like this. Um, really, um, well I had to imagine it obviously from the books and it's not shown in the series um, so... Yeah, it's quite nice to see what the emblem kind of looks like, and that's really nice. We also have House Harlor here, um, another Iron Island faction that has been added, and they are the original lords of the Iron Islands before the Greyjoys, and these guys ruled the Iron Islands plus the Riverlands uh, before the dragons came, and then obviously the Tullys get put in charge of the Riverlands um, then. So yeah, these guys with uh, like this Reaper's Sickle or Scythe, I can't remember which one it is, they look really, really cool. And this is one of their unique factions, uh, unique units, sorry, for this faction. And um, they have great axes. So obviously, being like, sort of like Vikings, they raid a lot. They, they get good axe units. Um, that's kind of the only unique uh, unit. Everyone else has got like the basic sort of stuff. No guard, in, uh, guard uh, units for any of these. I mean, this is like more, House on Darien is supposed to be quite a small faction. This is probably more troops than they ever had like in... The entire like series or books or whatever really or in their history, but we've got some more axes here for House Harlow. Um I'll go over some of the units, but I mean there aren't many. We also have two Dornish factions who are attacking us today. We have House Ulla, which I've not heard of before, but they are in their beautiful uh, red and yellow. They these guys look awesome. Um, not quite sure where they are in Dawn, um, but I do know where the other faction is, and they are in the east of Dawn. And this is House Yorumwood, and these guys uh, with their like. What would you do? Like, um, what is this? Like, it's like a portcullis is their emblem. It's quite cool. I like that. Um, but anyway, yes, this is the other faction that is in it. And these two you, uh, these two factions, played by the AI, are uh, attacking me today. Just kind of just showing this off. Um, see what they're like. Balance power is not in my favor, but this is against the AI, so there's always a good chance. And I did level up some of my stuff to kind of balance it out. So, uh, but we'll try and make give the AI as good a chance as possible. I do have plenty of reserves, so we do not need to worry about losing any men today. Um, but anyway, we'll start the battle and we'll just, uh, we'll, while they're all advancing, we'll have a look and see what we have. We have, um, well, we have Dondarian spears and halberdiers in the front line here. We also have some crossbows, which both these factions have now. Um, because not every faction has crossbows, but I mean, I didn't get any Dondarian crossbows, but we have a lot of Harlor crossbows here, along with some Dondarian swords on the wall. I do love Dondarian. The armor is just awesome. This, like, sort of reminds me of, like, a World War II uh, GI helmet, a little bit. Or, like, a Conquistador. No, not really a Conquistador. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's like the dome just looks kind of like that. But, um, yeah, then we have some Harlor crossbows on the edge here. Here they are. We have some of these guys. And then we have, well, we have... Already pointed out the axes and the grey axes. We've got uh, more halberdiers here. Um, we've got pikes and some swords here. Locking. We've got archers um, there, and we've got more swords in reserve. We've got we've got just about everything. I'm trying to show every unit. I mean, the say they look very similar to the pikes and swords. They don't look very different, um, like for each faction. But I've got made sure I got everyone. So Harlow's got some swords. Like I said. Most units, uh, most factions have the same unit uh, roster. There's only a few that are different. So we've got Dondarian Pikes as well. More Spears. Um, and then we'll look at the generals quickly, I guess. So you've got Roderick Harlaw here. Um, I've never heard of this guy, but I presume he is like the leader of the Harlaws at the time of the Game of Thrones. He looks okay. He looks quite nice, actually. He looks very fresh. Then we have Beric Dondarian, who is obviously in the Game of Thrones and features quite heavily. Um... He's still got one eye at this, uh, bo both eyes at this point. Uh, sorry, <laughs> small spoiler there if you've not watched the series, but I mean, yes, he does lose an eye at one point. Um, yeah, he looks pretty damn good in that. Um, obviously, they're not going straight off what it looks like in the in uh, the series. They're going to do their own sort of like book adaptations as well, I imagine. But yes, they look very, very good. So um, let's see whether these crossbows lose any. Yes, a few bolts being shot off there, killing a few Yorinwood Yoran Axemen. So yeah, I'm surprised they both attacked at this end, but this is going to make it very easy for me to defend now on micro. I mean, that it's the AI. I could have got some uh, subs to come in and play this, but replays just aren't very, very good. Um, like for this, they don't seem to work, or I haven't managed to get them to work. If anyone does know how, then please do let me know. Looks like the Hollow Axemen are losing a few guys on the way in. Um, but yes, this looks pretty damn 
looks pretty damn good. That's just that in cinematic mode. Oh, look at that. This man's got three cross, uh, got three arrows in him, and he's probably about to die because they're getting pretty. They can kill quite a lot of these guys. Yeah, looks like the other archers are actually focusing these guys down. I'm not too fussed. Uh, like I said, we've got plenty of men, plenty of troops. I've got plenty of reserve archers. They can use all their ammo up on these Harlow crossbows. Um, focus these guys down. I mean, they are, to be honest. These poor Yorin Axe. Let's see. These Axemen, look at them. I mean, like I said, all very similar. They're putting pikes up first. That's just the AI for you. Um, gonna put it pikes up first. Spears, not the end of the world. Oh, actually, they're spears. They're really cool. In fairness, they do... That's something I do like about the mod. They do make each faction sort of like spears and swords and stuff kind of unique in some way. Like Dawn's got like scimitars and they've got like bronze sort of armor and stuff. It looks really good. They, I can't knock them on like, the detail they put in. It is amazing. Um, obviously, like the rosters, there's so much you can do with them because there's not many unique um, sort of units. Uh, it looks like Harlor's gonna get overwhelmed here, so we're gonna just pull these guys back, can we? There we go, come on. Get back. Pull these guys back. We'll put them like back there. Um, and where's that other... Um, they can... Uh, this one I'm not so fussed about because this one's over the gate, uh, gatehouse. But it looks like the first Dornish troops are about to land. I mean... These look ever so hot. <laughs> oh god. Look out. Oh no, they do drop all the way down. I was going to say, are they going to have to jump? But it looks like um, Dondarrion and the forces of Dondarrion are going to be fighting Yorinwood first. And here we go. So uh, we'll see how well they hold. They probably should hold okay. Looks like this Harlow crossbow. Yeah, they've got 30 units left. I'm not even bothered about pulling them back. They can just fight to the end. Oh my gosh. They get absolutely destroyed. Um, does look like they're going to get up here without actually having a fight. And um, these hollow great axes might have to go in and deal with them. Um, but yes, it looks like House Yorinwood is going to be the first one in, followed by House Ulla. Well, I'm going to put some axes over here. What are these? Oh, Dondarian halberdiers. We'll put these over here as well, ready. Um, archers, hold your fire. I'm not really wanting you to, Enemy units have returned to, the battle. to do anything. So there we go. Halberdiers getting ready. They can form square. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not really wanting that, though. Um, well... We'll get these guys to do their bit. Just going in. There you go. Axes can go in. Let's see this charge. I mean, House Uller is coming over here, it would seem. And they're going to face off Dondarrion as well. Dondarrion making most of the uh, initial defenses. Apart from the axes, obviously. But where's House Harlow? I'm pretty sure I sent these guys in. Alright. No, they're coming. They're coming. Um, we'll send these axes in. Why not? Looks like they are getting overwhelmed ever so slightly. Who are these guys? Who are these guys, and why are they going over here? There's literally, oh my god, a bit of lag because there's a lot of units on the battlefield. I'm, uh, okay, just go there then. Bit of bugging out, it would seem, with the old uh, pathfinding. That's the one I'm looking for. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, has that guy got one eye? Oh, no, he hasn't. I also think Oberyn Martell has got um, a new armor, so if you guys want to see that, please do leave a like. Uh, well, and a comment saying you want to see Oberyn, or do you want to see more Game of Thrones scenarios, one or the other? Um, can you go in now? Thank you, here we go. The pathfinding is sorted, and there we go. House Harlow has joined the fight here. Excellent. Right, so there we go. Um, they should be able to hold these guys back for quite a while, I imagine. Um, are they just going to stand there and get shot? It does seem so. Um, oh, these crossbows are firing. Ah, that would be why. Hold your fire. Uh, then pull back, pull back, there's no need to have you sent in. Looks like they're going to just pick apart these guys, but I mean, they're doing a very poor job. Oh, the gate is open. Okay, well, yeah, do your thing then, do your worst. The walls uh, don't look very good at the moment. May need to be sending in some great axes soon. I mean, the siege towers are helping, I'm pretty sure they have like, oh no, they don't have cross uh, blisters on top. thought they did. Oh, it does look like we've got a problem here though. Uh, can you go in? Um, yeah. Let's have you on. And you can just turn around and face up. Like, shoot these guys. Let's have the Beric Dondarrion go in and deal with the problem. Uh, Ashley, and let's have you hold your fire. If Beric's going in. There we go. Be did not see that. I'm trying to get as many close-ups as possible for you guys. But, uh, and minimal micro. 
kind of why a siege is so good for this sort of scenario. Um, let's send in the Great Axes. Let's send in the Great Axes. If they're going to do their worst, let's see them go in and get a nice little charge from the Great Axes, possibly. Yep, nice little beheading. That's what we like to see. The walls will be fought for. There will be no... No, res no, uh, there will be resistance, I have, I mean. Of course there will be resistance. God, if there's no resistance, that's a bit worrying. Doesn't look like they're going to send up any more, though. Doesn't look like they're going to send up any more anytime soon. I mean, Alston Darren is kind of beaten in this area. I mean, no, well, not beaten, but it's getting beaten. Dondarrion's swords got sent in here. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, can you just pull back? Just get out of the... Get out of there. <laughs> um... But this looks pretty cool, I will not lie. Pikes and swords fighting out. I mean, House Ola's got no chance of getting through this. Uh, I do feel sorry. This is a very, just a very good tactic. Swords or spears helping your pikes. They can protect them from arrows, and the pikes can keep your swords and spears pretty well defended. You'll lose a few guys, obviously, but not as many as you could lose. Like, look at this. House Don Darien doing a grand job. I can't actually see any casualties yet for them. But there you go. House Joronwood being held back at this point. Um, looks, oh my gosh, there you go. All of a sudden, a lot more going in now. Um, ah, these halberdiers not looking so fresh. I might just send them into. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. The gates are going to get a lot of kills. Oh, no. This could um, this could end quite quickly. I mean, already the balance power is looking not so great. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I didn't expect anything less from the AI. Did not expect anything less. What a foolish move. Oh. But yes, there we go. The overwhelmingness now probably on the walls. If I was to say anything. Um, if I was to... But there we go. Go in. Get some kills. Yeah, it looks like the walls are going to be lost. Um, the gate, not so much. Um, also, those archers need to start firing at will. There you go. You can start firing at will, crossbows. I mean, these axes won't do well in, lo in prolonged melee, I imagine. So, oh, there you go. The gate's lost. Um, so, I mean, that at least is going to save a lot of lives from, uh, well, from uh, the oil. That's the one I'm thinking of. Halber yeah, these halberdiers and spears aren't looking too too good. I mean, there's a lot of lag going on there. But let's have a look and see what's happening over here. Does look like um, House Harlaw and Dondarrion is holding back. Um, well... House Ulla. I mean, it looks like they're going to set up some more stuff. So I might just put this on the wall. Are these guys ready here? They can get ready to hold. Yeah, pikes going up. Okay, interesting decisions and pikes. I shouldn't have given them so many pikes, but oh well. I did think how they're going to break through some of these lines, but god damn it. I guess give them more pikes. So at least some may survive after the initial stupidity. But here we go. They're going in. Um, they can just hold there. I mean, they'll just cut these guys down. The walls, uh, I'm surprised Don Darren's holding so well. It's probably got something to do with the extra chevrons. And that's perfectly fine. I'll eventually just let these guys break. Well, I mean, I am. These guys have gone. Like, this wall is gone, really. Uh, they do have cavern here. Not surprised at what they're doing with this. And they're going to need to fight, uh, go through this barricade. I'm sure these um, Harlock crossbows are getting some insane amount of kills right now. Look at these boys. I mean, that line of... Yeah, you just, like, shoot anyone that gets behind there. Can you? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's not looking so good. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, not looking very good here. Looks like... Oh, wow, these Harl these um, Harlow Great Axes breaking very early on. I gave them a lot of chevrons because I was like, well, these are Great Axes. And they're... Well, they're great. It's got great in their name. <laughs> but, yeah, so... I mean, they're going to get a fair few kills. does look goddamn beautiful. And now, but I mean, their position is now vulnerable. I mean, these poor guys are going to just, like, get cut down. And already... Oh, God, what are these? Oh, crossbows? They landed more stuff. And they're going to surround us. That's not so good. That's not so good. Um, Dondarrion Archers. I'm going to get all these Dondarrion Archers just back up here. There we go. Send in the generals. They can mess around and get some kills. If I lose my generals, then that might make it a bit more fair. Who knows? 
Don't really want Beric Dondarrion to die, I won't lie. I mean, I don't know if Roderick's even... If Roderick's even alive. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But I mean, these other swords are going to get cut down. Actually, no, they're axes. They're all axes. Still, they're going to get cut down. I mean, look how many... Jeez, look how many are dead. Like, all these... Sprawl dead other men. It's just not looking good. And there you go. These guys are going to just get surrounded and killed off now, you imagine. Um, okay, yeah. You need to, like, all get in here and do something. Just give it an attack order. Give an attack order of some sort. I mean, all this cav in here now is just going to run riot. They're just holding back the inevitability of this horde now. It's not looking so good. And these archers need to really move up. There's nothing left to really shoot out here. Yeah, these guys better be firing at will. Like, come on guys, there's so many people down there to kill. Can you hear anything? You've not run out of ammo. I know you've still got ammo. Don't lie to me, I know you have ammo. Yeah, it literally says there they have ammo left, but oh well. Apparently not. Uh, well, they can stay on the barricade. I'd rather they did that. Um, yeah, it's not looking so good for just about anyone involved here. Um, the enemy has obliterated an unit. Wow, they've obliterated an entire unit. I'm not surprised. I mean, the balance power is shifting my favor. There's no way I can't. They've lost far too much. I need to give them a bit more, maybe. Give the AI even more. I'm making... I don't know. I can't make it less stupid. It's just... It's got to assault a wall. Until the sieges are brutal. You can just do that. I probably should have given them more of me a bit less, possibly, but... Oh, well. I wanted to show off as many units as possible. For uh, Harlow and Dondarrion, especially. These guys are just awesome. I do love Dondarrion. Possibly one of my favorite unit, uh, favorite factions now. I mean, I do like uh, the Tali and... Well, I like most of them, to be honest. They all look so good. They all have so much unique armor, which is just credit to the mod and the modders. They're just doing an amazing job. But this look, I mean, come on. Look at this guy. He's going to kill him. Go on, get a kill. Get a kill. Oh, don't tell me. I just thought these guys don't have their pikes up, do they? These are going to be... No. Yeah, these are pikemen, and they've just not... Oh, what? come on, AI. Get it together. It's great axe, though. Getting a few kills, possibly, against uh, some pikemen in the rear. Come on. You can do it. I mean, this guy, he's got... Oh, no, he's lost the head. I mean, I was going to say, that guy was chopping his arm. He's not even got a shield there. He should have lost an arm. Um, but it will not... Not today, it would seem. Uh, what are these guys? These are just Hahalo Raxman. These guys are holding back so many men. It's ridiculous. And they're not good... They don't like this barricade being up here. It's a shame. Um... No need for them to worry about it. They just need to just go and hack it down. Hack it down. They just seem quite content. I might just pull back the pikes. I'll pull back the pikes and let them uh, come in a bit. Pikemen. Uh, go and defend there as well. That's the other. Go and defend that choke point. There you go. Now the swords can have their bit of fun. And um, pull back the generals, I guess. There you go. And they break. Uh, just go like that. There you go. All sword, a bit of micro needed just to make it a bit more fair. I mean, these guys are going to break inevitable. How these Harlow Axemen? I'm surprised they've done this well. They, they've chevroned up so much. I'm pretty sure I've left them on like one chevron. And they've got, to, well, they've leveled up three to get to one silver chevron. These poor, these poor other men, and poor Yorinwood men, they're still pouring in. Is that that's not even the last of the infantry? Jesus, still coming in. Uh, where are these guys? Are oh, they still in there? Oh my gosh! What a brutal, brutal fight. But, I mean, I do have an idea to do um, Stannis' attack on uh, King's Landing. Was a scenario that I was potentially going to do. If you guys want to see that, please do let me know in the comments. Or if there's any other 
uh, scenarios that you want me to do, please do let me know. I always do enjoy playing this mod. They're cheering. Oh, those 41 men must have broken. Yeah, there they go. Well done, House Harlow. It's a proud, proud thing. I mean, I also plan to possibly do some, like, tournaments or something with this mod. It would be quite fun to do. Um, because this is a fun mod. I do enjoy this mod. Very, very beautiful. Uh, did those 41 men by any chance come back? Oh, they did. Well, go back in. Kill some more men. Good if these trees just burn up. Oh, as I say it, the tree goes on fire. There you go. Well, it's a shame it doesn't set anyone alight. Because that would be very handy right now. But, I mean, they're just going to push on by. Look at them. They're just going to force a way through. This small, thin line of Harlow men holding the line now. Those brave axemen. This is insane. And these guys going back in, they're like, oh god, what are we going to do? And there's some halberdiers, I think, in there for Dondarrion. How these guys are still holding. Like, look how many there are. They really need to break on through because, um, well, they, there's these towers. But these hollow axemen are, or archers, sorry, have uh, leveled up even more. They're insane. Are they just, oh, maybe they're not going to... I don't know. I'm going to pull them off the walls. Maybe they'll attack if I take them off the walls, I wonder. Maybe they will. I uh, don't know. You're on words thinking about it. What are the generals for um, the Harman Uller? I forgot to actually have a look. Harman Uller and Anders Yorinwood. I think they might be still alive, but they're risking their lives at the front line here. There is Anders Yorinwood. His neck's broken or something because he keeps moving in an un unnatural way. He keeps looking down in a very unnatural way. But they are actually through. There's cavalry in the back lines now. Don't really want to send any more stuff up. I'm kind of more than happy. Let's just have these guys as a reserve. These crossbows can kind of just come over here. They can just be a thing. Yeah, these guys, I don't even really need them. I could probably tell them to route if I wanted to. Oh, who's, who's returned? I didn't think anyone broke. Oh, these guys, these halberdiers. Uh, just put them here. These axes, come on. Insane. I'm going to pull them back. They deserve a pull, to be pulled back. They'll probably break. They'll probably break them. Yeah, they've gone from like 100 and something left to like 40 odd. Get back. Get back. There you go. They break. There you go. Now you can carry on your attack. Jesus. Already like straight in on the next line. These poor guys. I mean, this this is just how stupid they are. I mean, they're just going to shoot my men back here. Let's just station test you do then. Oh, I should have... What's that one? Eh. Uh, well, that one's even better. Let's get... Yeah, I should do that. Um, Where's that halberd air unit? There you go. That tower's gone. Didn't take them long to break that. Look at... Just an insane mass of men. I think we outnumber them ever so slightly now. Ever so slightly. These archers are just causing havoc though back here. Let's see the shields, uh, this uh, test studio. Oh, that looks goddamn awesome. Do like that. Don't know why I hadn't done that already. These poor Dondarian men were dying for nothing. Um, just do that as well for that one. They're going to shoot these ones all the way back here. Come on. Here we go. Pikes. Surely they'll put their pikes down now and start to break through these lines. They have a chance. Ah, General's died. 
A general has died. I think it might be... I'm not sure. Oh, it's House Ulla. So, Harman Ulla has died. There is only Anders Yorimwood left. So, House Ulla, which had probably actually committed more troops to the battle anyway, um, is out, basically. Because, I mean, Game of Thrones certainly... I find when the general dies, most units seem to break very, very quickly. I mean, this looks goddamn awesome. I won't lie, that looks awesome. They are still getting some kills. They're actually getting quite a lot of kills. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, they're getting a lot of kills, actually. I'm going to send these guys in. Send these guys in. Go on. Get some fighting. There we go. They're going to do some... Do some killing. Do what Dundarians do well. Kill. These poor guys. I mean, it's not even... Not even a fair fight. It, now that... Uh, the, now that the general's dead... Look at it, it looks just beautiful. Look at that long line there. Oh my god, there's so many Dondarians. So many Dondarians. All these men back here. Still to fight. I don't know how many of these others will stand though. Look, they go all the way back here. It's ridiculous. I could oh my word, a lot of stuff breaking there. Lots of cavalry breaking. Can I get over the I can't get over that. These units are just going to break. They're just going to die just standing there. Might as well send this one up. Oh, look at these guys. The cheek of it just to shoot me to pieces. I'm going to start shooting them. Why not? Um, why not, I say. Just shoot these guys back here. That's a, If they're going to play dirty, I'll play dirty. Um, I was being kind on not shooting you. But it's kindness is over. It's time to die. And there's no way you can miss. If you miss in this, you really need to consider whether you should be an archer. They do have their pikes down though, which is the more worrying thing. But there's so many men left. I don't even. I'm not even worried. Like, I have so many men left. It's not even a worry. Not even a worry. Uh, let's get these guys a bit closer. Yeah, these guys really aren't shooting anyone over here. Come on, face that way. Um, your pikes. Your also. Let's get get there. Who broke there? Some oh those Harlow crossbows again. Uh, just send these guys in over here. Like, come on. It's not even... There's so many Dondarians now over here. It's going to be ridiculous. This is definitely more men than uh, Beric had ever in his entire military career. But he doesn't mind. Don House Dondarian will rise again. It's greater and stronger. Look at these guys plodding on in. Plodding on in. After just dealing with so much arch fire, they're now, they now get a chance to shoot some people. Here we go. And the volleys begin. And, I mean, look at all these guys in here. There's just so many. They're running out, though. I mean, the balance power is very much in my favor now. Um, I could actually send my generals out, probably. Yeah, let's send my generals out this way. They lost a few men. They could certainly run down most of those other, uh, those other guys. Uh, just shoot out back there, then. If you can't reach, shoot back there.
yeah, these guys are starting to feel the pain. Jeez. The men have thrown down their weapons, though. Who's breaking now? Oh, some Don Darian swords, finally. Wow. That shows how long they've, like, lasted. They've just broken now. Generals are going out. We're going to send them all the way around. I'm going to just go and kill all these archers. Because why not? Uh, they are actually getting shot to pieces quite a bit, though. And they are actually getting, forcing their way through. They're nearly through here. Oof. Those archers are holding them at bay, though. Okay. Go back in. Those generals are out. Okay, carry on going there. Look at, look at the amount of bodies. It's literally layers of dead bodies down here now. This choke point has been insane. These poor, poor men. We'll see that cavalry charge in a minute. These House Yorinwood and House Ulla, they need to go back to the desert. The Dornish desert. But here we go, they're coming in. Oh, I just realised that we have a load of traps here. This could end nastily. For some generals, I don't know. Here we go, they're going to run down these archers. And there we go, they're, they're, they're basically done with... Oh my gosh, they're going to shoot us in the back though. Run these guys down, come on. Big risk, I know, but one I'm willing to take. One I am willing to take. If we lose the generals, we lose the generals, but... We've got so many men left, and they've got so many, they've got so few left that it's not even going to matter. I don't think. Like, I could send all these in. Right now. They stand and fight. Where's Beric? Let's get, let's see if we can get him some, see if he gets any kills. I can't actually... I'm a bit worried he's already dead. <laughs> Knowing Beric, he's in the th he's in the thick of the fight. Oh, there he is, on his white stallion, sort of facing the right way, cutting down some Yorin wood archers. Excellent. And there's now House Harlow sending in hordes. I can just because I can. They just can. There's no. They're still piling all the way up back here. There's a house over. It's ridiculous. These guys are slowly breaking. Um, let's just encourage. Why not? Rally. Yeah, rally all these guys. Why not? Excellent. Let's just see how it's going in the fight back here. Now that house Harlow's sent in a load of men. Yep, these spears will do just fine in here. They'll cut down lots of men. These are all tired as well. And now there's like... Did I set in pikes as well? Didn't think I did. Seems I did. Well, Dondarian set... Uh, we've got some Dondarian pikes going in, it would, it would seem. I mean, there's a heck of a lot of stuff now filling up. I mean, if the line was nearly broken, which it nearly is. Look at this. It's actually is uh, open here they are flooding in they could they could get round and that would have been huge I mean, there's still a chance they could kill my generals and they actually probably will Don Darian's nearly dead but I'm not I'm, I don't care he can die if I pull him out he will die for sure I don't even know where he is um I 
Can't see him. He's should be on a white horse. Oh, there he is. He's still where he was. He's not moved. I don't think he's even killed anyone. Yeah, he's running out of men. Yeah, and now um, Roderick's dying as well. Ever so slowly. Um, but, I mean, they may actually break before us, so might not be the end of the world. Send in. It's Yorimwood left. I think Anders Yorimwood must be dead as well. He must be, because there's no cavalry left. Oh, he's broken and run. I think it's more likely that one. I think we'd have had another notification. But look at that. Look at the bloodbath that's happened here. That's uh, one of these guys. Oh, that's... Beric Dondarrion's just fled the battle. There you go. And there we go. Our general's dead. And uh, Beric... And then Roderick's also gone. So there's no generals left on the battlefield. And that's kind of okay. I'm fine with that. We should still win. We've got plenty of men in here. House Harlow's now mopping up what Beric John Darien's men uh, started. And we have plenty of pikes in here. Do they have ability? Oh, they do. Killing spree. That's cool. Um, pikes, can they do anything? No, they don't have any abilities like they do in the other in the other versions. Well, we'll send in these archers, why not? And they're already in there, those archers. Jeez. Yeah, any any gaps in the line are already gone, and now we're just sending in more men to well, just force back Yorimwood. There they go, they're breaking. How's Yorimwood's had enough. There's not much left. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, new update and these new units. I certainly have. They look awesome. I know um, it's not been that close to battle, but it's more just a showing off. There will be some more excellent battles. I've got some great replays to show you in the uh, coming few days. And, their new, and a new Let's Play coming out. So if you guys want to see that uh, new Let's Play, then do stay tuned. Do like and subscribe. And hit the bell so you know when it's out. These men do look goddamn awesome. The purple of Dondarrion is so, so sexy. I just can't get over it. And even House Hollows, it's so basic as their emblem, but it looks so good. And their shield's so shiny. <laughs> and apparently, um, I forgot to mention, I think the House Martells had a reskin um, as well, I think. I'm pretty sure House Martell looks very differently. So I'm sure we'll do more vi uh, more vids and House Martell. We'll see them. There we go. Lots of breaking now. Yeah, lots and lots of breaking. Oh, they brought their archers inside. They have. Just House Yorinwood. House all is gone now. Yep, there we go. All of their main infantry is gone. Would have been nice to have the cav now, I won't lie. Um, but we'll do with what we can. And we'll just speed this up. There's no need to. There we go. Not even not even needed to uh, fight in all the archers. So we'll end the battle and we'll have a look at the end results. Um, so, as I'm not surprised, lots of archers getting lots of kills 345, 220, 100 kills. Very, very good. Most of these units not even getting very many kills themselves, like these Dondaran spears. They, to be fair, got overwhelmed very quickly. Um, Roderick Harlow getting 104 kills. Beric getting 100, not 100, 87. Um, Harlow Axman getting 171, 193. The Great Axe is not doing so well. Not They didn't do great, even though it says in their name. Um, Dondari, other Dondarian swords getting plenty of kills. 240 for that one. 149 for that one. Did very, very well overall. Some very good units there. Um, House Ulla. Getting 231 kills with their archers. That is insane. Um, I mean, they were allowed just to pick and cho choose their targets most of the battle. Most of the other units didn't do so great. I mean, 156 there for the other arch unit. But that's kind of it. Only their archers really turned up. How's Yorimwood? Looks a bit better. I mean, um, archers again did very well. Getting, well, 100 
three units getting 100 plus kills and then um probably their swordsman did okay but i mean they were i was they were fighting elite units there was no way if i i probably didn't actually need all this xp but um the balance power didn't look so great without it so um yeah there you go there are the end results if you want to have a look at them uh flick through and you can pause and have a look um but if you've enjoyed legionnaires please do leave a like and subscribe and a comment if there's any other Game of Thrones scenario that you would like me to do. I hope you enjoyed this new update. And uh, until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.